Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make peanut butter balls. Mm, yummy. Chocolate peanut butter balls are super easy to make. Only four ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. First, let's measure out our peanut butter. We need three quarters cup of peanut butter. And I got this cool little gadget here from Pampered Chef. Got it for my birthday. I love this thing. Um, dry ingredients on this side, wet ingredients in here. Um, really cool, especially for things like peanut butter. You just set it to three quarter cup. Get our peanut butter. And then once it's full, what you do, you just come in here and you push. Boom. Take a knife or spatula and scrape off the rest. No digging into your measuring cup. Pretty cool. I'll put a link down below if you want to pick one of these up. They're really, really, really handy. All right, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to just mix this around a little bit. All right, and now we want to use powdered sugar. I have two cups of powdered sugar, but I'm not going to use, I'm not going to dump it all in. I'm going to do a little bit at a time until I get the consist consistency I want. We want the consistency to be like a, a little kid's uh, a Play Doh. Okay, and then when it starts to get really nice and thick like this, what I do like to do is come in with my hands and just kind of knead it a little bit. All right, so it resembles like a Play-Doh, not sticky at all, ready to go. Now, I have chocolate candy melts here. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can get these. They also sell them at like Walmart, Target, places like that. I'm gonna melt this in the microwave on bursts of 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, stir, 30 seconds, stir, and then 20 seconds, and then that should melt the chocolate. You can also use a double boiler if you like. Once our chocolate is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and take some peanut butter in my hand here, and we wanna roll it into a ball. And I'm gonna make this about an inch in diameter, and then I have this little tool here. It came with a little chocolate kit, and it's really cool. You can just put your peanut butter ball right on there. You just dip it in. And then it makes a nice little ball like that. I go ahead and put it on parchment paper or I have a silicone mat in my, on my uh, baking sheet. Another thing that's fun to do is to come in here and decorate it. So like on this one, I'm gonna take some nuts this one, I'm gonna put some little chocolate chips on. This one, I'm gonna put some coconut on. And then when you're done, go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and let them set for about 30 minutes. And then once they've cooled a little bit, what I like to do is come in also with some white chocolate and decorate some of these with white chocolate. And then you'd put this back in the fridge to let the white chocolate set. And there you have it, peanut butter balls. All right, our peanut butter balls are done. They turned out amazing. Really easy to do, few ingredients. Some tips for you. If you run into an issue of the peanut butter ball getting misshapen when you put it in your chocolate, um, what you can do, I recommend roll out all of your peanut butter balls and then put them in the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes and that will really help them keep their shape. And then dip them all in your chocolate. Also, if you use milk chocolate or semi-sweet or dark chocolate, that tends to get um, more runny when you melt it. So it's a little easier to dip and it gives it more of a smooth texture. But if you put those, uh, once you're done, you're finished with them and you put them out, you set them out for like a party at room temperature, after about 30 minutes to an hour, um, they can get really soft and start to melt. Um, that's why I use candy melts um, when I am going to use them for a party because they can sit out at room temperature a lot longer before they get super soft and, uh, and melt. 
Yeah, so they're really easy to do. Go out and impress your friends and make them some peanut butter balls. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dive into this guy right here. Mm -mm -mm.